Hi all, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to display SharePoint list item in a Power App. So this is our home page. So if we go to our site content, here we have a list company information. So in this video, we are trying to display this company information item in a Power App. So let us see. So first we will create a power app. So just click here, go to your power app. Or you can directly do by typing make.powerapps.com. So now we will create a new canvas app. So we'll put like company app. Or we'll put like company info app. So just create. So before we doing anything, just save your app. So let's save. So we will change our screen name. Here we will put like display. Now we need to connect our SharePoint site to this power app. For, th for that purpose, just click on your add data. Here you can see different connectors. So from here you have to choose SharePoint. So if you click SharePoint, you have to provide your site name here. So just copy your site name, just paste here. Click on connect. Here you can see our list. So which list you want to add? In our case, we need to add from company information. This is our list name, company information. Information. So today we are going to different company name like we have Google, Microsoft, IBM. So all these details we are showing in our Power App. So that's our plan. So just go to your Power App. Just select company information list. If you click on connect. So our list is connected. Now go to gallery. So here we are trying to use gallery. So just click on insert. Go to your gallery. So you can choose different type of gallery. So we'll choose vertical gallery. So once we click on vertical gallery, we have different options like how we want to display like title or title and subtitle or like that image and title. So here we will choose image, title and subtitle. So just select and just connect to your data source. So once you click on your data source, your list name, you can see all the items are displayed. So you can change the layout as well. Suppose I'm just expanding this one. So here if we just reduce the size so if keep here here you can see different way we can add so if you play here you can see our google microsoft type those details are displayed in our power app even if you have more field in your list what you can do like you can fetch the name like suppose if you click here you can see we are fetching this item dot title. If you click here, you can see we are fetching the company name. So, for example, suppose if you have more column here, so you can add by pointing to that column like this item dot what your new your new column name like that you can add here. So, for example, I need one more text here. So, for that, what I can do like I can put insert label. Okay, if I put label here, you can see. The data is coming right so now it's showing like created by display name even if you have another column you can change this to your column like that you can display dynamically here you can see all the items are displayed 